Hey guys, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Yogi channel. So currently I'm in Queenstown in beautiful New Zealand, but originally I'm from Lithuania. And through my channel we go through classes uh, step by step. So if you will follow them weekly, you will go from the basics up to the more advanced classes. So you sh if you are new to aerial yoga, just try to start from the lesson one or two that you get more detailed poses how to get into them because later on we will just uh, continue calling them by the name and not concentrating more on the details so please follow my and subscribe to my channel for more of the aerial yoga classes to improve uh, your skills to improve your practice deepening it and let's go to the cell in today's class, we're going to concentrate on our abdominal area, core, lower abs, obliques, side muscles, where we store our inner power, inner will. So this class will be designed for beginners, but it can be useful for all levels, uh, practitioners of aerial yoga. So please join my class and let's start it. So let's go to the embryo pose. So to stand in front of a silk, we won't get into much details on embryo because we already covered in the previous class. So let's just take seven times, sit into a silk, turn whichever side you like, cross over, one heel one side, the other the other side, check if it's equal through the both legs, and just close into the embryo. Make sure your back is straight. So make yourself comfortable, close your eyes, relax the whole body, just scan it through, from your head, through your neck, through your spine, up to the toes. Relax everything, release all the tensions. And release your thoughts, let them just go. Same as your breath going in and out just notice how you feel now and start deepening your breath going into ujjayi breathing which is victorious breathing the most popular breath through in yoga classes so try to breathe throughout the lungs out full capacity Feeling how the belly expands, the ribcage lifts, your chest going up and when you exhaling, the chest goes down, same as your ribcage and belly shrinks and gets closer to the spine. So feel the space when you inhale and how the body gets smaller when you exhale. So three more deep breaths like that, just to calm your mind and prepare for the aerial yoga class. Last big breath in and out. And then slowly Take out your feet of the silk, so just under your knees and just inhaling, stretching and exhale, grab the silk just in front of you with both hands and we start into cat and cow, just warming up our center and our backs. So inhaling and opening your hips, looking up and arching, exhaling, pushing the silk forward Bring your legs together, straighten your knees and lift up as high as you can. Inhaling, opening through your hips, arching, opening your chest. Exhaling, curl into your center, looking to your belly. Inhaling, opening and looking up to the ceiling, shoulders down. Exhaling, as much as you can, lift your legs up from your core muscles. So a few more like that. Inhaling, opening, exhaling, closing. To breathe together with your movement. Last one, inhale, 
exhale, push vessel forward and bring your legs down. Now we stretch and awaken our back muscles, so still pushing vessel but a little bit wider and in the middle of your front silk part just put your both heels in the middle and then bring your heels together still holding the edges straightening your legs and push forward with your pelvis just scooch a little bit so legs are straight feet flexed so toes towards you and then relax your arms you can close your eyes just feel this passive stretch going through your hamstrings through your back through your neck so three deep breaths in here still ujjayi breathing last breath in and out now we'll go to the active stretch so inhaling and hugging your thighs and exhaling bringing your chest as close as you can toward the thighs and looking towards your toes or to the ceiling so make sure that you won't curl too much more pushing from your belly and pulling from your chest towards your legs for more intense Stretch and lengthening through your legs, through your back. Two more breaths. And last one. And exhale, relax. So bring your both legs forward and sit comfortably. We're going to the boat pose dynamically. Then we're gonna hold, so just more awakening our core. So still holding the silk, lift your legs up and a little bit bring your pelvis forward. So you that you would be diagonal, but still lifting from your back up. So back is straight and long. Legs are shins are like tabletop, so don't put them all the way down, still holding. Feet can be either point, either flat, it's your choice. Arms by your side, neck is long, looking forward and inhaling, straightening your legs, exhaling, bringing them in the previous position. Inhaling, lengthening through your legs, through your spine, holding your core, exhaling, let's go back where we started. So three more like this, inhaling, straightening your legs, Exhaling down, make sure you're not lying to the whole body, the whole weight on your silk is still holding from your back muscles, from your core. And last one. Inhaling, exhaling down. And now we're gonna hold. So inhale, lifting and hold. Breathe. The slower you breathe, the more energy you get. Relax your face, your jaw and feel that someone is pulling you from your crown. Two more breaths. Last breath in. And exhale, lower your legs. Just grab the silk by the edges and then slowly slide back into the semi-bridge. Still hold the silk because your back is not still that warm. A little bit lengthening your core, your abdominal area from the boat pose. Relax your head, your shoulders, your legs, just hanging. Maybe if you want, you can a little bit bend from side to side. Two breaths in here. Last one. Inhaling, lifting up through your arms and sit up straight. And we go to the spinal twist. So more for side muscles and strengthening our backs. Inhaling, we're lifting up and exhaling, turning to your right and opening wide with your arms. So the front arm, which is my left, will pull, push away from the right knee while the other arm 
is just behind the pelvis. Just bend your elbow and leave your palm behind. If you want more stretch, you can always just grab the silk more. So inhaling, lift, lengthening, exhaling, turning all the way as a spiral. So the eye side is the final point of our twist, of our spiral, which, is, which means we're looking as far as we can behind our shoulder, behind our back. And still pushing through your left arm, still pulling from your uh, right arm behind you and uh, a little bit push your chest forward that you want um, just lean to a silk you're still holding through your back muscles through your core and twisting as much as you can two more breaths and then inhaling coming up exhaling twisting to the other side so now the arm, right arm will push away from the left leg and right arm just bends behind or if you want more you can just grab the silk. Inhaling, straightening, exhaling, twisting even more, looking behind your back, behind your shoulder, really feel how the whole spine twists and swirls through the spiral movement pose and breathing deeply Pushing your chest forward, shoulder blades coming closer to each other. Last breath in and out. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, taking a silk, and we're gonna stand up. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit forward, lean into the silk, and we're gonna sit up into this like chair pose. But for now, just relax, shake off the pelvis, releasing the tension from lower back, just relaxing your hips, lengthening your um, torso. So just a little bit shake, shake, shake. Before we're gonna get to the serious stuff. So now, just make your uh, silk more comfortable under your shoulder blades. You can a little bit lean back like me, as you see and cross your elbows in front of you and grab the silk firmly. Push your, um, push your forehead against your arms and in here inhaling and exhaling lifting both your knees up slowly inhale and down and exhaling up inhaling legs down. So we will do five more like this strengthening our more, uh, core. So inhale and exhale up, inhaling down. Four more. And um, leave your legs, uh, put your legs as slowly as you can without any sound as a feather. Last one. And in here, just relax, arch your back, hang on your silk. Relax your pelvis, don't, you don't need to hold it, just let everything drip. Relax the head. If you feel uncomfortable by letting your head just bend back, you can always lift and maybe just lean into one of the silk sides. If you feel a little bit tingling through your arms because we are squeezing a little bit our armpits, you can always just leave your arms up and perhaps relaxing here. Just Swinging from side to side, or if you want, you can leave it here. And then now let's stop in the middle of you. We're swinging, inhaling, just lifting your arms over your head and arching. So we're opening our chest, but also intensively stretching our abs. And in here, still trying to release your pelvis. So a little bit tilting it back. Inhale, inhale in the middle and exhaling just twisting and bending to your right. Inhale and coming back, exhaling to the left. Two more each side. Inhaling, exhaling. Last one each side. And let's 
meet in the middle. Take your silk, one step back, make sure your feet are hips apart, leg straight, activate your buttocks, your glutes, and inhale, lift your arms up, reaching, and exhaling, bend your knees and go on your tiptoes and lean forward, inhaling, opening up through your shoulders, through your chest, exhaling, activate your core into one straight line. Inhaling again, opening and leaning back, exhaling, leaning forward. Two more like this, inhale, leaning back, exhaling, legs strong, core strong, hands forward. Last one, inhale here, exhale forward and hold. Breathe deeply, arms by your ears, looking forward, don't release your neck. We feel your buttocks, feel your core, everything is working and active. Two deep breaths. And last one. And inhaling, coming back. Just grab a silk. If you see it's too high, it shouldn't touch your armpits, just bring it under your shoulder blades. And this time, relax your pelvis, but knees still straight. And here we're gonna go to turbine. But let's start from the swings. So first, just swinging from side to side. It doesn't matter which side you will start. And just feel that loose movement, releasing your center, your abs, feeling the lengthening through your back, the middle back especially. Just a few more each side. If you want, you can close your eyes. And now from this moment, we will grab the cell and we go all the way, the whole circle around us. So first circle, let's start together. Let's bend our left knee. So remember guys, the knee you're bending is the one from which one we're gonna push away into the opposite direction through our backs. So we're bending our left knee and pushing away from the left to the right through the front with our hips, drawing the whole circle and um, ending up on opposite side where we started. So this time is right leg. So from right to left and coming back to the left. So when you Drawing the circle, exhale, inhale when you're coming back. And remember that it's a circle and just a little bit more, that you won't always go in the same, in the same direction. And that your head won't start to swing too. And if you want, you can play around with this. You can do maybe two circles in a row, in a row maybe more, maybe three, whichever you feel like. Just feel this space around as if you're drawing that circle with your center, all directions. If you want, again, you can close your eyes, it makes a little bit different feeling. And feel always the connection with the ground through your feet, how we go through our soil, sides, toes, heels, while the whole center, the whole back is completely relaxed. So the actual impulse is coming from our feet. So last two times, I have three, three circles in a row, one side, and then the other side. And then let's meet in neutral position, just in the middle. And in here, just standing up straight, so the silk is loose, just behind our back. And now moving on on upper body, strengthening our arms and still concentrating on our core strength. And uh, we will do jumps, progressing to the flips. So first opening your arms wide, 
bring your arms in front and put them through inside, wrap around, just around your wrist, lower than wrist, and then the second time in your palm, so twice. And from here on, we will do jumps. So inhale and exhale, jumping up, inhaling on your tiptoes, gently coming back on the ground. So together, inhale and exhale up, inhaling it up. Four more. And your arms are next to your shoulders. Three more. Two. And the last one. So just a little bit unwrapping and relaxing in the ragdoll pose. Maybe swinging from side to side, relaxing your arms, your neck, your head. A few moments in here. coming up. So now we will add up a little bit. We will do more work on our lower abs. So in here again wrapping around twice, inhaling and exhaling coming up, hold, and we will add in the air three more with exhalation and last one and coming all the way down. And we will continue to do like this Two more times. So two, we're coming up and three times lifting the legs in the air. Inhaling and exhaling up. And two more. Last one. And all the way down. So a last one. And two more lifts through your legs. And down. Good job. Let's relax a little bit in ragdoll. Relax your arms, your neck. And coming up. So now the fun part. We will do now the flip. And don't don't be nervous that you won't do it instantly. It's kind of a hard thing. It still need will need still a lot of power for our arms and core. And that's what we're working on and going forward. So again, wrapping around twice. And we will do the simple flip. So the same principle. We're jumping, but this time we're a little bit kicking for our head back leaning back through your back and you will end up doing the whole circle around. So inhale here and exhale and jumping and leaning back slowly landing on the ground. Four more like this or if you're struggling just do the jumps what we did just before. And the slower you do the more we're doing work and the more we work with our muscles. And last two. And the last one. And if you did that lips, you see this little wraps around a lot. And it starts to squeeze. So just unwrap your arms and wrap your silk. But it would be wider again as it was before. And relax in your ragdoll or if you want a little bit stretching your back just bring your wrists inside the silk pushing the silk forward lay it back straight or maybe swinging in here legs wide a few breaths and hand coming up so now, if somebody wants more challenge, we will do candle pose, going through a plow, up and down. Uh, if you feel that the flip is already kind of hard thing for today, it's okay. Do your jumps. If you uh, feel that the flips are going uh, quite well, but not yet fully, so work on your flips. So just listen to your body, listen what is suitable for you today. Again, wrapping around twice. So if you do candle pose, so we will meet in the middle, in here, in the little ball. And one, if you are just starting to learn it, bring your uh, soles 
and to the silk inside of the silk and straightening your knees. That you would find your straight line and then maybe trying to put your legs together. If not, if you are quite comfortable in this, you can straight away shoot your legs up and hold here. This is a candle. So make sure you're at least holding it a few breaths in here. And then the night that you just going into plow with just straight legs going down but not all the way and then again coming up. Or if you did the sliding, so from here, stretching through your legs and again coming up through the silk. So two more, whichever you prefer, or flips or jumps. And then all the way down, softly. And wrap your arms a little bit, shake it up. It got too much power, maybe. And just bring yourself forward. This time, make it wider. Just put your chest into it, arms, your head, legs, that width, and just swing and relax. So, you must feel your shoulder, your arms, and your core. Two more breaths. And bending your knees and round back, coming up. Okay, guys, so from here we're going upside down. So now we're gonna go to the back straddle pose, which is upside down, hanging, and it's one of the most popular poses in aerial yoga, and it's very good for our back, just stretching. Um, we will do it uh, with a silken half, which is more safer and less pressure on our lower back and sacrum. So I would suggest to do it like this, even though you might saw it in other maybe videos that people do it with um, narrow silk, it might be squeezing too much if you are hanging quite a long time. Uh, so let's do it in half. Uh, so just spread your silk. Make it wide and then just go through the silk and grab the other side of the edge. Bring both edges together and holding with your arms. And in here, I will start showing you from here and then go from the other side. So just go uh, in front of the silk, elbows in, go on your tiptoes and sit into the silk. Just remember, most important thing is that your silk edges should be just under your pelvis. So don't pull it all the way towards your knees because it, you might slide out of the silk. It should be just under your, under your pelvis, under your buttocks. And then when you sit in here, just grab the ed uh, sides of the silk, slide down just where your hips are. So over the hips, grab the whole uh, side, the whole width of the silk. And if you grab too much high, you might squeeze again your um, middle back. So try to take it just away. And leaning back, open your legs wide and wrapping around from side into inside. And relax your arms. Just um, drop them loose from all the, all the flips, all the, all the arm work. Just relax in here, close your eyes, dress your silk. You can take your feet out if you feel uncomfortable or a little bit uh, insecure. So just you can still leave your feet inside. If you want, you can put your soles together. So relax your shoulders, your neck. My thing is dripping down. Feel how your spine is lengthening, how your abdominal area also stretching and uh, narrows. Just notice your breath. Are you still breathing deeply? Perhaps that ujjayi breathing through that soothing sound when you exhale. If you want, you can a little bit swing through your hips from side to side. Just a few more moments in here in this relaxing pose. Come 
last breath in. And now we will coming back to our core again. So we first we're gonna put our arms into the half eagle pose. So bring your whichever arm you now prefer, it doesn't really that matter. We will do both sides either way. But if you're doing with me together, bring your right arm over your left elbow and just wrap around perhaps your thumbs collapsing or all the way your palms and in here inhaling while we're still down but exhale and lift up curl inhaling now arching back with your arms leading you forward and exhaling up inhaling again arching and strengthening your center of the back exhaling strengthening your core inhaling your back so two more and last one, lifting up, inhaling, lengthening through your core, and relax your arms. So now we go to the pigeon pose, wrap around with your feet, and this uh, time we take only our right leg out of the silk as wide as you can, drawing half circle and relaxing your leg. So if you're doing this for the first time and you feel a little bit scared and stuff, so just uh, hold still with your arms, relax your head, shoulders, and leave your arm, uh, uh, your leg just hanging there. If you feel uh, quite comfortable in here, you can take your right, uh, right ankle or toes with your right arm, or perhaps both arms. But don't rush, just if you feel that the leg is coming close to you, maybe just leave one arm. And with your leg, you're pulling away from your back, so the whole leg, the right leg is active, your thigh, your shin, and the most important part, activate your buttocks, your glutes, because they make your back safe, because we are arching quite a lot, so try to keep it active, not just hanging in the silk, we're actually pulling away from the leg to open our chest, collarbones, our neck and arching through the back, so giving more flexibility in that. And still breathe deeply throughout the lungs, throughout capacity. Two more breaths, in here, of the arms. And then relax your arms, coming back into the silk wrapping around and now we will do eagle pose half eagle pose with our arms just opposite sides so now left elbow on the right wrapping around inhaling here exhaling lifting up inhaling lengthening and bringing your arms as backwards as you can exhaling curling inhaling strengthening your back and arching three more And the last one, exhaling up, inhaling, arching, and lengthening through your shoulder, and relax. So now we go to the pigeon, take your left leg out, draw a half circle, and relax. Just drop your leg. Just feel how the silk is holding you through your glutes, through your uh, buttocks. And either you're leaving your leg hanging, either you want to take it with your left arm, your ankle, or toes where it's more comfortable and suitable for you or both arms grabbing the foot and whichever you are if you're holding your leg one or both arms just pull away to draw this big circle and opening your chest feel the art through your back feel the opening also through your shoulders how both shoulder blades coming together do one another and breathe deeply. Feel how that how the rib cage expands, your chest opens. And don't forget to activate your buttocks just to keep that lower back safe. So last breath in. 
and out. Relax your arms, bring your leg around, wrapping around. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the handstand pose. So make sure your hands just under your shoulders and fingers are wide. And with your heels, slide up and push away from the ground, from your mat. And bring your legs together as close as you can. You, have to, you must feel your inner thigh muscles working. So just make sure you're not walking back because in that way you're gonna arch and this is not a handstand because you're stretching your spine and there's too much curving for it you might injure yourself so bring your um, pelvis under just tilting it so pushing from where you are as much as you can sliding through your legs up and feet together and holding the pose one straight line feel how your arms are working your shoulders your core breathing deeply and if you want more challenge if you've done this before then you can take out one of your legs and bring it to the other one the one is in the silk and perhaps changing from one side to the other or you can bring both feet together and even more challenge and more feeling that you're holding yourself with this pose so three more breaths Last one. And relax. So cross your elbows and just maybe swing from side to side or swirl around, whichever you feel like. I'm just hanging, but release your shoulders or neck. Just your legs are still straight. And from here, this will be the last core exercise. So let's do it, let's concentrate it before our relaxation. So we we'll do pendulum or swing. So inhaling here and exhaling, lifting up. Inhaling, arching, exhaling, bringing your head up. And try to swing as much as you can into this swinging pose as high as you can. If you feel a little bit dizzy, don't do it so intensively. Maybe just slowly lifting up and down. But if everything is fine, so let's do a couple of more, like this, last one, and just relax your arms as wings, feel the air, the wind, if you haven't swing it, so just maybe push away from the ground, and then let's just stop in the middle, bend your knees, Look up towards your belly button, take your silk just in between your shins and thighs, take out your legs slowly and going down on a mat. If you want, you can go through a flip here. If you feel a little bit not yet there, just go in a simple way and let's meet up down on a mat into the child's pose. And relax your shoulders, let them drip. And drip down. If you want, your knees can be wider. And if you feel tingling through your legs because we are quite a long time upside down, uh, you can always just lay down with your legs straight and on your belly and just relax here. So whichever works for you. And feel the breath. How the belly moves when you inhale, exhale. So in here we're just letting our blood pressure normalize, balancing our body from quite intense upside down poses. A few more breaths. And then if you were laying on the ground just bring your hands on your shoulders and Bring your hips on your heels and run back, come up and just go a little bit forward that you would be in front of. So this last pose will be more for stretching our necks and massaging it. So it's turban or like a hat pose. So just take the silk 
and uh, we had it bent in half so widening it up just that it would be in one layer and put your whole head your your hair your ears inside the silk and uh, that it would cover all of your most of the head close your eyes relax your chest your spine don't worry if your back would round them that's okay we're just relaxing and dropping the whole weight towards the silk towards the head the hands can be either on your thighs either on the ground if you feel that you're still sitting quite straight so just maybe you need to scoot a little bit more forward with your knees and in here just swinging from side to side if you want you can sit still whichever it works for you let's feel the lengthening and that soft massaging through your ears where it has a lot of air, uh, pressure points so we massage them a few more moments a few more breaths And then just grabbing your silk, take your head out of it, sit straight and just a little bit turning your head from side to side, half circles, releasing your neck. And let's meet in the middle. Alright guys, so you finally reached Shavasana, relaxation pose. Totally worth it after a whole class of core and arm muscle workout. So let's relax and get into it. So we're going to the flip. Uh, we covered the flip in the previous classes. You can just scroll them back. But now we go just without any details. So putting the silk, straightening our arms and jumping. And let's meet up here in the silk. Either for flip, either you go regular way. The ending up and just laying it down. And cross your arms uh, over your chest or either over your head. You can leave your legs straight if you want. You can leave with a uh, butterfly, legs open and bent. So, which one is more comfortable for you? So, close your eyes just a few times, breath out through your mouth, releasing all the tensions, breathing out everything what is unneeded and bringing out what is everything what is old and sinking deeper and deeper into your silk just relax your feet your shins your thighs check if your pillow is relaxed whole core which had a lot of work today relax your chest your back relax your hands your arms your shoulders release your jaw all facial muscles and with each breath you're just sinking deeper and deeper into this relaxation imagining that you are floating somewhere up in the air floating freely without any need to go or to do anything just enjoying this moment Floating, feeling just for a few more moments.
deep and then we are prep. If you want, you can always make your shavasana longer than in this video. But if now we just moving our fingers, your toes, just awakening again your body. Inhaling, reaching up over your head and stretch, maybe from side to side. And just taking your edges of the silk, take your feet out and just let's go down on the mat for grounding. So sit up comfortably with your back straight, your arms can be on your knees, either next to your heart, in Anjali Mudra, in prayer, and close your eyes, feel the breath and uh, just how you feel now, notice your body, how it sinks into the ground and roots. Leaving all the stress or some negative thoughts, releasing them to the ground and the earth is like a filter, brings us back good energy, powers us up with strength, with wisdom, with tranquility. Just imagine that you're inhaling with this calmness and balance. And today we will finish our class here. So thank you for joining my class and I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave comments below this video. Uh, always can reach up through email or our other uh, pages like Instagram, Facebook. So please follow my page, Camille Yogi, subscribe to it for upcoming weekly updates of other videos of aerial yoga classes from beginners to advanced and so forth. So see you soon guys. Thank you. Namaste.